Hey YouTube, day 17 of the movement control order. Uh, today, um, I'm not going to have anything fancy to do. Uh, just to share with you some uh, messages that I got regarding one of the videos that I did. Uh, a few days ago, uh, I did a video on this play, Hang Jebat Mandar Haka which is a play written by my father, Muhammad Ali Aziz, uh, which was turned into uh, the movie starring uh, Nordin Ahmad in 1961. And today, I got a message from uh, one Muhammad Daniel Abdul Aziz, who wrote a comment on, my, uh, on that video and sent me a friend request on Facebook. And he says, um, uh, Salam, saya Daniel dari Club Film dan Music Melayu Klasik Saya baru saja selesai menonton vlog Tuan berkenaan Hang Jebat Mendar Haka Saya merupakan seorang peminat film-film Melayu era studio Lebih-lebihan lagi arahan Husin Hanif dan M. Amin Saya juga sedang menulis biografi pengarah Husin Hanif Pengarah filem Hang Jebat dan Dang Anum. I'm glad to find your vlog. Ia sangat-sangat membantu pengkajian saya untuk mendokumentasikan secebis kisah sejarah filmmaker di KT Chris. So, uh, he's uh, obviously uh, an admirer of my late father, which is awesome. And uh, I never expected to have somebody reply. Uh, to my videos the way he replied uh, so we had an exchange of words and he shared with me uh, something which I wanted to share with you uh, this is actually now this is the copy that I have the paperback copy and this is how the original looked like I used to have uh, I remember 20, 30 years ago, I had so many of uh, these books lying around in the house and I never paid any attention to it. Uh, and it was uh, amazing to see, um, to see this book. And uh, what's even more amazing, if you see at the top there you can see that is my father's actual handwriting anyway so i thought i spend uh, today's vlog uh, going through memory lane and um, the, I wanted to read because I was really talking about singing praises about the that book. He also wrote another play called Dang Anom, and this is what that the cover of that play looks like. Uh, and uh, Dang Anom is um, was also turned into a into a movie. And uh, I wanted to read uh, the f the foreword, or the yes, that's the foreword uh, written by my father, uh, Sepatah Kata. So let me read to you what my father actually wrote. Sepatah Kata, tragedi dan anom telah dicatat dengan tinta emas dalam sejarah Melayu. Keberaniannya menentang kezaliman, rela berkorban dari melutut di hadapan sembilu sula, menjadi kebanggaan kepada sekalian wanita dan mendidihkan darah keperwiraan dalam jasad bangsanya. Tulang-tulangnya telah berzaman-zaman hancur, pusaranya telah lenyap. Namun tragedi dan anum tetap hidup subur. Dan dari ceritanya lah 
buku ini telah saya susun menjadi sebuah cerita sejarah. Moga-moga ketuguhan hati dan anum segan melutut minta ampun kerana mempertahankan kebenaran, meniupkan pula rasa kesedaran dan keinsafan kepada kita. Ali Aziz. Uh, so my father really had a flair for the dramatic. And um, I never really understood and appreciated that uh, when I was younger. Uh, and uh, it, it's, it, it fills me with a lot of joy that there are people out there apart from me that remembers him. Uh, this person, Muhammad Daniel Abdul Aziz, uh, also wrote uh, an article about my father and uh, it's a long one but I'll tell you a little secret uh, actually I don't really uh, celebrate uh, birthdays as a general rule but my father's birthday was on April the 1st uh, two days ago so uh, I didn't mention anything then and uh, perhaps it is a good time to to remember the person that he is from the eyes of somebody who admires him <coughs> Ali Aziz legenda yang tidak didendangkan Siapa Ali Aziz? Mungkin ramai yang tidak mengenali individu yang bernama Ali Aziz ini dan tidak mengetahui sumbangannya terhadap perkembangan filem Melayu. Ali Aziz merupakan seorang sastrawan dan pernah berkhidmat sebagai penulis cerita di studio KT Chris. Sebelum terlibat di dalam dunia perfilman, Ali Aziz adalah seorang mahasiswa dalam jurusan kesusastraan Melayu di Universiti Melaya Singapura, kini National University of Singapore. Ali Aziz bersahabat baik dengan Hussein Hanif yang bekerja sebagai editor filem pada penghujung tahun 1950-an. Beliau sering berkunjung ke studio Katy Chris untuk bertemu Hussein Hanif. Apabila Hussein Hanif diangkat sebagai pengarah pada tahun 1960, beliau berjumpa dengan Ali Aziz untuk berbincang tentang filem apakah yang bakal menjadi filem pertama arahannya. Hussein yang ditemani penolongnya M Amin sering bertukar-tukar fikiran dan pendapat dengan Ali Aziz. Akhirnya mereka bertiga bersetuju untuk mengangkat cerita karangan Ali Aziz yang berjudul Hang Jebat Menderhaka, Suatu Tragedi Kelayar Perang. Menurut Mana Sikana, seorang pengkritik sastra, Ali Aziz seorang penulis yang mendasari pemikiran teksnya dengan teori sastra iaitu realisma sosialis. Teori tersebut bukanlah aneh dalam kalangan penulis tahun 1950-an dan 1960-an kerana asas 50 juga mirip kepada aliran teori tersebut. Tetapi cara Ali Aziz mengolah kisah Hang Jebat dengan memberi penekaan kepada perubahan watak adalah menarik. Dengan keberkesanan olahan dari Ali Aziz ini telah menarik minat pengarah muda seperti Hussein Hanif yang juga mempunyai sifat yang memberontak untuk menerjemahkan penulisan Ali Aziz ke layar perak. Menurut satu temubual Ali Aziz dengan wartawan majalah Berita Film, beliau sangat berpuas hati dengan gaya pengarahan Hussein Hanif dan lakonan agresif Nordin Ahmad sebagai hang jebat sehingga para penonton dapat merasai kisah tragedi yang luar biasa itu. Selepas kejayaan filem Hang Jebat, Ali Aziz telah menjadi salah seorang pengarang cerita favorite di KT Chris. Banyak cerita-cerita tulisannya diangkat ke layar perak seperti Dang Anum, arahan Hussein Hanif, 
Cucu Datuk Merah arahan M Amin, Gul Bakawali arahan B N Rao dan Wan Perkasa arahan Nordin Ahmad. Selain daripada itu, Ali Aziz pernah menyelenggarakan sebuah buku yang bertajuk Kerajaan Melayu Singapura Lama yang diterbitkan oleh Pustaka Antara Kuala Lumpur pada tahun 1965. Pada tahun 1986, Ali Aziz diundang untuk menjadi salah seorang panel forum dialog cerdik di Dewan Bahasa dan Pustaka. Forum yang bertajuk Husin Hanif Insan dan Karya Filmnya merupakan inisiatif sekumpulan anak-anak muda yang mempunyai kesungguhan dalam kemajuan filem tanah air. Turut diundang sebagai panel ialah bekas pegawai perhubungan awam KT Chris, Hamzah Husin. Bersama-sama mereka berdua dalam membicarakan pemikiran Husin Hanif ialah Dr. Anwar Nur Arai, Johan Jaafar dan Manso Putih. Adakah namanya akan hilang dalam lipatan sejarah Ali Aziz sememangnya seorang legenda yang tidak didendangkan? The source of it is uh, majalah berita Julai 1962 and uh, memoir Hamzah Hussein 2004 penerbit UKM. I, I remember when the Malaysian legal service uh, had um, migrated from the use, using the English language to using Bahasa as the primary medium for communication in the courts. It caused a lot. It caused a lot of stir in the legal community because a lot of the lawyers and the judges were educated in England. And they had supreme command of the English language, uh, but probably not as good a command of the Bahasa language. But I remember my father was very excited, and he said, "This is a good opportunity because for him, uh, the there is nothing more beautiful than the uh, Bahasa Malaysia language." Uh, and he uh, he was always of the opinion that uh, it is the mastery of the language that we have lost uh, rather than any inadequacies of the language itself uh, and what strike me as very uh, significant and what strike me as significant was that this was a person who had absolute mastery of the english language and he he could he 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 was a student of english literature and uh, and he was advocating for the usage of the bahasa language in everything and i remember arguing and debating with him that i myself find the bahasa language limiting in my in giving me the ability to truly express myself and he said you have to learn it you have to learn the language you have to learn the words that people don't use anymore and there is such beauty in the language and um, so that's an amazing thing Uh, I was thinking about my father a lot recently and I I remember the one thing that I learned from him uh which probably applies to our situation now he he in the later part of his life he was he had a lot of issues he had a lot of challenges financial challenges health challenges but I tell you what I have never seen my father give up I have never seen a person so determined and so um strong in and courageous in wanting to over- overcome whatever challenges and whatever uh obstacles that was in front of him and uh, you know I am myself like that and I and I will always credit my father with teaching me the ability to overcome any adversity that comes before us So I uh, 
so that's my father uh, I would end maybe this is a good uh, time to just share a picture of him picture of him taken when he was very young at the time that he was in Singapore doing these amazing wonderful things that 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 we can now look back and uh, and that, that I am extremely proud of